Hey y'all, good morning. Okay, I just kind of had an epiphany. First of all, you know how like in school there's always like loners? Which, well I guess you could say a little bit in high school. Maybe, no, I mean I always had friends, but I had like moments where I felt like I was a loner. But anyways, but people are always suspicious of the people that are a loner, right? Because, well especially if it's a kid wearing all black and uh, yeah, because then you think, okay, he's probably possessed, he probably has demons. Guess what? Check this out. So people who have no friends, there's a reason. Because their demons are their friends. Their demons are their best friends. They're talking to their demons 24-7. Therefore, they can't really have friends. Now, this is interesting because on the flip side, the Holy Spirit can have the same effect on people. The Holy Spirit can get possessive of a human, which I'm pretty sure the Holy Spirit has been getting possessive of me. And y'all can pray for me about that, that the Holy Spirit will stop being so possessive of me. But the Bible does say that God is a jealous God. Anyway, so I swear the Holy Spirit literally wanted to break up me and my ex, my baby daddy. Okay, because she saw things that I didn't see and she knew that he wasn't good for me. Okay, understandable. But I didn't see those things, and I was perfectly happy not seeing those things. And now I miss him. So now I'm praying and I'm trying to talk to the Holy Spirit that she needs to stop being possessive of me and let me have my baby daddy back. You know? But then I was thinking, okay, think of all the nuns and the monks throughout history. They all led a very isolated life. Like they had each other. You know, the monks grew up and, not grew up, but <laughs> lived in their monasteries. But most of, yeah, they mostly had solitary time. Time alone with God. Because God was possessive of them. <laughs> but isn't that interesting? Isn't that interesting? I just, it just blows me away that it can be the same for someone who's demon possessed. That the demons are possessive of that person and they won't let them have friends. But God and the Holy Spirit can be the same way. And it's like, it's so weird because, yeah. Because then someone could say that someone who's isolated, oh, they have demons. Not necessarily. They might just want tons of alone time with God. Just like all the monks and the nuns did. I have basically had two months now of plenty of alone time with God. And I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good, but is God good? Is the Holy Spirit good? Was that enough time for the Holy Spirit? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, but yeah, now I'm like trying to tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, there's tons of other human beings on the planet. <laughs> Just go talk to them. Go hang out with them. Let me have my baby daddy back. Bring back, bring back, bring back my boyfriend to me, to me. Bring back, <clears throat> cause I do miss him. And obviously I want my son to have a father. And my mom's greatest wish is that my son will have his bio dad and bio mom his whole life. Because that's what everybody should have, you know? The people who have that grow up the best. Well balanced, not ending up in prison, not ending up on drugs, not ending up homeless. Everybody should keep they're two bio parents their whole life, if they can. There was some joke that I heard. I forget what pastor said it. But he said, you know how you can get your kids to come home for Christmas? You call all your kids and tell them. The dad calls all his kids and says, so me and your mom might be getting a divorce soon. And then all the kids fly home for Christmas and pay their own airfare. Because they're like, what? No, you guys can't, div can't get divorced. Anyways, anybody who has kids, they really should try and stick together, you know? I mean, it's not always easy to do that because parents separate, in-laws separate. And apparently, even the Holy Spirit separates. And in a lot of cases, demons separate. That was the case with my ex-husband, who I had two daughters with. His demons broke us up because his demons turned him against me. And that's what my mom said. She's like, she's like you know, this is interesting because with Ben his demons turned him against you and now you're hearing voices and they're turning you against Zach 
but this time it's not demons it's the holy spirit yeah and i was like yeah that is interesting because i have been thinking like what is it talking to me i mean i've always okay for five years now i've been talking to the holy spirit but she never told me any crazy stories until i mean this all started like eight months ago you know we just had a normal gabby talkative friendship <laughs> Anyway, so just know that, um, yeah, demons can separate two people, but the Holy Spirit also can. And obviously, overall, you should trust the Holy Spirit's wisdom because the Holy Spirit is God. Basically, the Holy Spirit is a third member of the Trinity. So you should trust the Holy Spirit's wisdom. But on the other hand, you could also um, negotiate with the Holy Spirit. I don't know. I don't know because you what you want what the Holy Spirit wants might not be the same thing should you do anything and everything that the Holy Spirit wants I don't know you know technically the Holy Spirit is not God the Holy Spirit is a spirit which this is something that my ex-husband said he said the Holy Spirit is God's spirit and I was like are you sure no, the Holy Spirit is just a spirit that is somewhat connected to God, but the Holy Spirit is not God himself. It's not God the Father. Anyway, so does that mean that you have to submit to the Holy Spirit in the same way that you submit to God the Father? I would say, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> I will say the Holy Spirit likes to play games. Uh, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that has uh, messed with my head a little bit. Pray for the Holy Spirit to stop playing games with me because it's not funny. But I guess it's funny for her, but it's not funny for me. I'm not enjoying it. Yeah, which makes me think sometimes, is this a demon? But no. Apparently the Holy Spirit likes to... I don't know. Yeah, she like he she likes to play jokes. Which might make you think that the Holy Spirit is a demon, but no. She's just being silly. Anyways, God loves you all. I hope you guys can figure out your own little mess inside your head and what spirits are talking to you and what you should think about that. <laughs> But yeah, I will say for sure, don't let demons separate you from people. Don't let demons turn you against people if they're actually good people, right? 